Hi everybody, welcome to Willie's American Guitars. I'm going to talk a little bit about J45s. Uh, J45s lately have been kind of a popular guitar, especially in the vintage world. It's hard to find a good J45. As you know, in 1965, Fender was bought by CBS. In 1964 is, is a pivotal year for Martin. 1964 to 65 is a pivotal year for Rickenbacker. In Gibson's, there are three features that happened in 65. A, the neck got a little smaller, the headstock pitch came a little forward, and then the parts went from nickel, like this guitar, to chrome. The nickel has a nice little, nice yellow glow to it. Um, and then up to 68, they all had rosewood fingerboards, and everybody, even Dan Electro, would use Brazilian rosewood because it sounded better. It was easier to cut. It, it, uh, they're just, it's a, it's a preferred wood. Given a choice, you would always use Brazilian rosewood. However, Brazilian rosewood is gone. This is an interesting guitar that we just got in, and um, this is about a 1961. In 61, this finish is more of a oxblood red. It's like a deep cherry red. And this guitar uh, has the wider nut, the deeper headstock pitch. <laughs> And this guy, who owned it, down-tuned it. And I just want to say, when you're storing your guitars at home, if you have a lot of guitars, don't be tempted to go all slack and store them all flappy. That's bad, because the truss rod is going to get its way. The truss rod is reacting against the tension. And if you store your guitar flappy, then the truss rod gets its way and is going to warp the neck. So you want some pitch to it, not fully pitched, but you want to bring the guitars down a bit. I just got this in literally like seven minutes ago. So um, this is a nice, really clean, crack-free 1961 Gibson and, um, and a delicious guitar. This is the other... This is an SJ, so a Southerner Jumbo, not only does it have lots of binding, has neck binding unlike the J45, but has these trapezoidal inlays, and um, you can always tell an earlier one, we've talked about this, but if it's skinny here and fat there, that tapered headstock, if it has a tapered headstock, it's 40s. This does not, and that means it's a 50s guitar. Um, and this guitar, too, came from the same guy. A little out of tune, but this was also tuned down. And so these have not gone through the shop. We'll make sure that we change the strings, oil the board, and even in this case, oil the tuners. This guitar, the tuners are a little firm. I don't want to get into... Um, uh, tuning this up because I'm going to wreck those gears. The oil that's in there is old and we'll get in there and clean that out and re-oil it. And you can do that at home because there's a little hole in the back of these tuners that is for the oil. So you can re-oil your tuners. Always want to make sure you keep a polish cloth with you to, that you don't want any of that oil getting onto the finish of the guitar. You clean up after you're all done and um, take the strings off. Uh, unravel it and then put the oil on and make sure you turn the gear several times so that oil gets on all the the gear mechanism on that. This guitar um, is a really sought-after guitar. This is about 56 and the tobacco sunburst in any Gibson gets more than the cherry sunburst. Here's something though that I just got in that is kind of mind-blowing. This is a 1964, and if the camera looks inside, this still has the original tissue paper that it was shipped in. So, 1964, it has the big neck, it has the headstock pitch, Brazilian rosewood bridge, and Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, and this guitar... is a wow guitar, even with dead strings. I'm not sure how old these are. I'm gonna guess these strings are 10, 12 years old. One way to tell if your strings are old, see how bright they are up here? And how dark they are in the rest of the fingerboard? So it, it ages with this contact with skin and that.
great guitar. Uh, we just got these in. I am sharing this with you before anyone else gets to see it. It's going to take us a few days to do this, but a cherry red J45 that is so clean that it still has the original tissue paper. This is an investment grade guitar. And then this, these earlier ones tend to be a little more, a little less um, bright red. This is pretty bright. And this is more of a cherry red. Uh, so there's really kind of three colors for these J45s. And then we have our uh, J45 that's here. And this is a 50s one. And this is that Tobacco Sunburst. Tobacco Sunburst generally gets a premium over the other colors. That's all for now. Okay? We'll talk soon.